On December 3rd, 2018, PF Sense releases the 244 release P1 upgrade. I waited a couple days of installing this. It is now December 6, 2018, and I'm happy to report it's all working happy. Uh, this is important, and firewall updates are important. They add new features, fix bugs, and good news is there's no major security fixes. It's all kind of like errata, minor tweaks and changes, nothing uh, devastating. So I, I highly recommend you upgrade, but it's not the world's on fire. This is a zero day. you got to fix any of these bugs that were quashed in here. But if you're having some IPv6 issues, this is definitely a few fixes in there related to IPv6, which is important. Another notable fixes are some PHP, uh, various errors throughout the code base, unbound to version 181 because of a DNS leak. So if you were experiencing high memory and you were using DNS over TLS, they have some solving for that. Another notable new feature that is a GUI change here, and there's not many GUI changes, a lot of this was behind the scenes updates, uh, is the GUI option to control SSH guard. And if you're not familiar with SSH guard, it's a protection system for SSH in case you have it open to the public, which I don't recommend. So if you go over here and set a PF sense under system advanced and admin access and scroll on down to secure shell, enable secure shell, I highly recommend if you have enabled to use key authentication only, SSH keys are better. Change the port if you need to. It may not be a horrible idea either if you're gonna open it to the public. We generally don't open it to the public and we also filter that uh, port based on IP just because you don't want anyone logging in there. But if you do, you have a use case where you want your PF sense exposed and they have SSH guard, this is where you adjust those settings. So threshold, block time, detection time, or whitelist. So if you have a static IP that you always come in from, you can whitelist that. Uh, that way it doesn't get perceived in part of the attacks from something happening and locking yourself out. Uh, and of course, these are just the block times and how many attacks before they get blocked. So other than that, nothing really substantial in here. The one other thing they added that was kind of cool is the backups. So if you go here to services, auto config backup, they added a feature to automatically backup on a regular schedule based on cron. So uh, instead of doing an automatic backup based on changes made, which is generally our policy, uh, anytime we make a change, we do a backup, but it is nice if you just want to have rolling backups because maybe other people are making changes and you know, you can set them up to be on a regular schedule. So that is one other feature they added. I'll, I'll leave the detailed link here for all the little miscellaneous changes that they made. They're, they're all like little stuff here and there, but you know, everything's to make product improvement and they have a pretty steady release cycle. So when PFSense has updates, it's not uh, too frequent, but when they do, they pack a lot in these updates to make sure all the little notes and bugs and things like that are fixed. Also, if you find any bugs, they have a bug reporting system. And I encourage this with any open source project uh, document, make sure it's reproducible and then create a bug report. That's how this stuff gets fixed rather than complaining about it and yelling and tweeting about it doesn't actually fix problems. Just so you know, in case you're wondering. All right, that's it for the PF Sense update. Um, go ahead and apply it. Uh, it seems to be pretty risk free and nothing went wrong so far with all the clients we've applied to or ourselves. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.